The following table shows the wind pressure on a structure at different heights in Pascal. One Pascal is one Newton over one square meter. Using linear interpolation, estimate the pressure at a height of 15 feet 6 inches. Let's write down the height in feet. The height is equal to 15 feet 6 inches. We can convert 6 inches into feet. This becomes 6 inches. We know that 1 foot is 12 inches. This will be 6 over 12 feet, which is 0.5 feet. Therefore, H is 15.5 feet. Now, let's look at the table of height versus pressure. We note that 15.5 is between 15 and 16. When the height is 15, the pressure is measured to be 278 pascals. When the height is 16, the pressure is measured to be 287 pascals. When the height is between 15 and 16, which is 15.5, we want to find the pressure, which is the unknown. Using the properties of similar triangles, we can write down such ratios. P minus 278 divided by 287 minus 278 is equal to, now the similar ratios would be corresponding to P minus 278, we would have 15.5 minus 15 divided by, corresponding to, to 287 minus 278, you have 16 minus 15. The right hand side is 0.5 divided by, in the denominator we have 1, and that is 0.5. Now, we can simplify the left hand side, P minus 278 divided by 287 minus 278 is 9, is equal to 0.5, and by cross multiplication we get P minus 278 to be 0.5 times 9, and if we take the 278 to the other side, we would have P to be equal to 278 plus 0.5 times 9, which simplifies to 282.5 Pascals. Now, there was an easier solution for this question. Because 15.5 is exactly between 15 and 16, or in other words, it is the average of 15 and 16, the pressure would also be the average of 278 and 287. So for as a second solution, I can say since 15.5 is 15 plus 16 divided by 2. The pressure would also be 278 plus 287 divided by 2. And if you simplify this, you would obtain 282.5 pascals, as we found before.